I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, Metro Police say they now believe foul play is a factor in the disappearance of 22-year-old Leslie Palacio. Officers say the investigation has now been transferred to the homicide section. Leslie was last seen on August 29th. The buffet at Wynn Las Vegas is closing on Monday. A spokesperson says guests prefer a more traditional buffet experience over the served all-you-can-eat format that it came up with to reopen. He also says it will continue to assess the situation and make a decision on when to reopen at a later time. Well, a nearly $6 million safety project is starting in downtown Las Vegas next week. It's to protect people who are walking downtown. The money will be used for bollards, street lighting, traffic signals and sidewalk improvements. Starting on September 8th, expect some traffic restrictions at Fremont and Main, Fremont and 1st and Fremont and 4th. The project will take about nine months to complete. Danny. Highs jumped five degrees today. We landed at 107, which means we'll hang on to that heat a little longer. Through dinner time, we do expect triple digits. Even through midnight, we'll be in the 90s before those lows fall to the low 80s ahead of tomorrow morning with clear skies and calm winds. As we work our way into the holiday weekend, the record heat really going to take hold. A forecast high of 109 for your Friday with an excessive heat warning going into effect. We'll jump up to 110 for Saturday, 111 degrees for Sunday and Monday. That's more than 10 degrees above the seasonal average and again we do expect those high temperature records to fall by the middle of next week a big pattern flip will drop back down to the 90s tuesday into wednesday danny thank you and that was your 13 action news update you can always get the latest news at ktnv.com